Yes, that is correct. Today's video is all about the brand new Halloween update here for Dungeon Quest because I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek at exactly is what coming and what possibly could be coming with the amazing theories that we do have. So let's jump straight into the video. It has been one heck of a year for Dungeon Quest. There's hardly been any updates. We've had two dungeons this entire year and obviously it is now Halloween. This is absolutely crazy. This video is coming out on the 13th of October for myself. Technically 13th for everywhere in the world at the point when this actually uploads. But guys, we have so much we can discuss about the Halloween update for Dungeon Quest because we have a ton that could actually be appearing inside of our thing. I know what is confirmed and I can tell you what is confirmed so far in today's video. So make sure you keep watching to find out exactly what is happening for this update. But without further ado, let's go over the community polls. Because if you guys did not know, I am currently the head of staff and community here at Dungeon Quest. And we have a ton of things that we discussed. But now we've decided to be more transparent with the public about updates and what is occurring. And I may have annoyed Vinny quite a lot to be able to do this <laughs> because I ended up hosting the first Halloween modcast a few days before October 1st. And let me tell you, Vinny, I think, is regretting everything that he let me do <laughs> because he asked me what should we do for the Halloween update and of course I have a ton of my own ideas but I sourced out to you guys in the community over on the Dungeon Quest Discord with what we should actually do. Key reminder, if you are suddenly not in the Dungeon Quest Discord, one of our trainees purged 83,000 people inside of the Discord so if you're not in the Discord anymore, join back. To dungeon quest you'll be fine you'll be good you're not banned you just kind of got kicked for being inactive because the trainee purged people and we're still not exactly sure why they did it or how they did it so let's do this so <laughs> i held a modcast for around two hours and we did the community polls section guys obviously none of these things that i am about to mention are guaranteed to be inside of this update but this is just from the community poll section to gain information on what you guys would have liked to see inside of the halloween update for dungeon quest and what stuff can make into this update and what we could bring out for you guys but at the end of the video i will say exactly what is confirmed so far that i can tell you or possibly even show you hmm but yes we did have a ton of things inside of the polls and obviously we're gonna let you guys know exactly what you guys voted for these are possibilities this is not guaranteed unfortunately but i hope i just hope that if we don't get them this year we get them next year because we have an entire range to work with for next year's update and we're already going to be planning the christmas update now halloween's not even done yet my birthday's not even been done yet and we're already planning the christmas update hopefully we can get a ton done for christmas for you guys but let's start so Obviously, people voted for leaderboards for Halloween, and people on the special leaderboards would receive a special cosmetic. So, for example, we include a second currency like we do every single year. Imagine it was the top leaderboard for how much of the second currency that you got, how many runs of a dungeon you did, things like that. Or if you trick-or-treated, how many times you trick-or-treated. And they simply got a special cosmetic for being one of the top 100, 200 people on that Halloween leaderboard specifically. I think it would have been really, really good. <laughs> but the main one that everyone did want, of course, was a brand new dungeon for Halloween. Um, unfortunately, can't do one of those this year. Everyone wanted one like the Egg Island dungeon, where it was a completely separate dungeon where you got dungeon-specific cosmetics for a special event. As you guys know, Egg Island is currently still in the game, and you can still get the cosmetics from that, but Vinny does not have time to create an entire new dungeon until Halloween, unfortunately, so I can say without a doubt that we are not getting a new dungeon very very sad that i am working with him on something else possibly on the side but the next one was obviously a secondary currency to purchase halloween cosmetics which i can say is probably gonna happen we get this every single year for a special halloween cosmetics store and obviously we did also suggest on the side of 
special Halloween quests for dungeon quests to receive secondary currency. So you don't just have to do dungeons to get the currency, you can also go and get it from quests as well. And obviously the big thing that I really wanted to add this year was trick-or-treating inside of Dungeon Quest. We have a ton of buildings and NPCs inside of the game, which I wish you could talk to and be like, trick-or-treat. And for a treat, they give you the secondary currency for like a trick. They'll be like, hey, slowness in the lobby obviously just just for the lobby just to have some fun and then we also suggested um for community goals for trick-or-treating if it was a thing so for example 10,000 trick-or-treats made the game get two times xp for 24 hours with a, like a community goal and then when you hit 20,000 trick-or-treats it unlocks a third spell or you know stuff like that on the side which would be really 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 cool but another one that we'd had was reskin current spells for Halloween editions. So for example, we have the lightning spell for the brand new Enchanted Forest dungeon, but instead of lightning for the Halloween version, it would be like cobwebs like flying out of you and like spiders with it or something along those lines. Or like the whirlwind one being like a potion green instead of just like the current wind one that it is like it would be like a very collectible item for the dungeons obviously but who knows and obviously we have to just create new spells for halloween like create special spells per dungeon that you can go and collect so for example enchanted forest would be a, a witch's brew where it's like a cauldron but then it like like puts blasts of like poison out of the cauldron onto the ground for the mobs to step into or things like that and then we obviously have uh, the one that i really really wanted to happen the current dungeon quest maps overhaul for halloween sorry if i'm out of breath by the way um mid recording i got a job interview <laughs> if you didn't know i'm trying to get a job in real life right now on the side and i'm out of breath because i'm very anxious from my interview so just a little heads up for that so obviously map overhaul for halloween which would mean like a desert temple but desert temple like uh with halloween decorations like ghosts and spiders and witches and things like that on the sides of the map just to kind of give it more of a halloween vibe for the season it's not happening, no, I don't think. <laughs> I did offer to do it myself. I've been learning Roblox Studio and building just so I could help out along the side of building and stuff if they need it. Because blacksmiths are always available for maps. And then we also have the possibility of adding a corn maze inside of the Dungeon Quest lobby. I've seen this done in like work at a pizza place where they'll have a maze and you get something at the end or something in the middle of the maze every like 12 hours, for example, like another daily reward. And I think it would be a really, really good thing to have just something interactive inside of the lobby. Obviously, spooky lobby, probably going to come back. But if it added in like a corn maze, it would be really, really cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> the next thing... The next three were kind of iffy. Um, we did host a logo competition over on the Discord, so you could actually go and enter your own digital or hand-drawn logo to win like Nitro and stuff like that over on Discord. So if you haven't entered that, go and enter it. It closes on the 20th of October and we'll pick the winners by the 27th. Just a heads up there. But this one was gonna be the possibility of a cosmetic competition. This could be added in at any time possibly where everyone will make their own cosmetics up and then the winner's cosmetics actually gets put into Dungeon Quest for sale. I think that'd be a really, really cool idea. Could have been a really good Halloween one for Christmas. Maybe we'll put that up there too for Christmas again. And obviously enhancements or limited limited time items within game effects. This was suggested by Purs a lot. What do you guys think of enhancements? Things like that would be really, really, really cool. And then the last one that no one wanted. I honestly thought people might like this one a bit more, but it's really good to see that people aren't afraid to say no inside of Dungeon Quest. And it was for a Halloween battle pass. So obviously we get games like World Zero where they have a battle pass for Halloween where they can unlock cosmetics, different reskins of the current cosmetics and things like that along the sides. I think it would have gone well if it was implemented correctly, but majority of people didn't want a Halloween battle pass. So that's perfectly fine. But just a reminder, those were suggestions in polls none of them are gar guaranteed but now i can tell you the final things that i do know that are 100 confirmed 
for this Dungeon Quest Halloween update. So without further ado, <laughs> the Halloween lobby will 99.9999999999 basically 100% be confirmed to be coming back for the brand new update. Obviously we do have a Halloween version of the lobby that we bring back every year where you have tombstones with everyone's name in it, we have cobwebs, we have fog, looks like a really amazing lobby and it's all nighttime. It looks so cool and I love it and Blacksmith did an amazing job on it. Not sure if it's getting updated this year or not. I don't think so. Blacksmith hasn't said anything to me and either has Vinny. Um, but that's not the only thing. I do 100% know that we are getting Halloween cosmetics. I'm not sure in how we are getting them, but I do know that Vinny has like four people currently working on the brand new Dungeon Quest cosmetics. He has two new people and two old people. So I'm going to sing Raj is... Is, is it Raj or Raj? Rajalar? I have no idea and I butcher the name every single time but I think he's making it and I think Kapuni is making one as well but there are two brand new people making cosmetics this time around. Obviously when they get released to the public you guys will be the first ones to see it here on my channel so make sure you are following well technically subscribed oh I'm so used to Twitch now subscribed here to be notified when I do post those videos and with Halloween cosmetics, I'm 100% guessing that we are getting a special Halloween currency this year. Yet again, we always get candy or something every single time. So I'm guessing we're going to get a secondary currency back again this year. Not sure how you're going to get it. If it's just going to be from completing dungeons or if you're going to be able to purchase it, 99% you will be able to purchase it as well like you have in the past. Uh, so without further ado, that's the current uh, confirmed updates for Halloween thus far. I wish I could say there was a lot more, but unfortunately I cannot give you much more than that. That's all I know. I've been begging Vinny for updates and like hints of what's happening. I do not have a confirmed date as of yet, but I do know the cosmetics are not ready. It might be released next week. It might be released the week after. Who knows? But hopefully it is actually before Halloween. If it's not Vinny, I'm on your case about it, but yeah. If you guys enjoyed today's little mini Halloween update video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. Also, make sure to go follow my Twitch channel. We are streaming every second day, mostly over on Twitch. So come and join me off of Roblox and join me for like Overwatch, Call of Duty, you know, <laughs> Minecraft, Phasmophobia and things like that. So yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day or night, wherever you guys are being in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye guys! Try.